this is a menstruation question the task at hand is to find the area of the shaded region in the figure given below the figure comprises semicircles and circles so three mark question that appeared in 2017 cbc 10th standard board exam unlike the last question the probability question this question has enough work that we deserve three marks for it three semicircles each of diameter 3 cm i'll just mark them this is 3 cm 3 cm and 3 cm a b and c are the three semicircles of diameter 3 cm a circle of diameter 4.5 so diameter of the circle is equal to 4.5 and a semicircle of radius 4.5 this larger semicircle has a radius which is equal to 4.5 cm are drawn in the figure given below find the area of the shaded region let's quickly move on to the next slide the area of the shaded region has the area of the semicircle whose radius is equal to 4.5 from that we need to subtract the area of the circle d area of two semicircles a and c and we need to add area of semicircle b so this is what our shaded region is but before we do that we quickly realize that semicircle b has a diameter 3 semicircle c has a diameter 3 in one case we are subtracting and another case we are adding so these two will nullify the the effect of addition and subtraction so we don't need to bother about this at all so the area of the shaded region for us basically boils down to finding the area of the semicircle and from that subtracting the area of circle d and semicircle a so area of the shaded region is find the area of semicircle e the larger one from that subtract the area of circle d whose diameter is equal to 4.5 and the area of semicircle a whose diameter is equal to 3 cm this nullifying is basically because in one case we are adding the same area and in another case we are subtracting the same area some of these dimensions given to us are diameters the others are radii area of a semicircle is pi r squared by 2 for a semicircle for a circle the area is equal to pi r square so let's convert everything into radii and we'll also convert them into equivalent fractional forms to make calculation simple in the case of a semicircle e we have been given the radius radius is 4.5 the equivalent in fraction is going to be 9 by 2 so in the case of semicircle we got the radius as 9 by 2 cm let's move on to the circle for the circle what we have is a diameter diameter is equal to 4.5 equivalent fraction is 9 by 2 so the radius is half of that which is equal to 9 by 4 So got the radius as nine by four. The radius here is equal to nine by two. Lastly, diameter of the semicircle A is equal to three units or three centimeters, which translates the radius to be equal to three by two centimeters. So got the radius for this as equal to three by two. So what are we going to do? Let's compute the area of semicircle E first. That's step number one, which is equal to pi by two into r square, which is the area of a semicircle. pi by 2 radius is equal to 9 by 2 whole square 9 square is an 81 so this becomes 81 pi divided by 2 into 2 square 2 square is a 4 4 into 2 is equal to 8 so area of semicircle e is 81 pi by 8 so find the area of circle d area of circle whose radius is equal to 9 by 4 area of a circle is equal to pi r square so in our case it's going to be pi into 9 by 4 the whole square 9 square is equal to 81 so 81 pi divided by 4 square which is equal to 16 lastly area of semicircle a of radius 3 by 2 area of a semicircle is equal to pi by 2 into r square which is pi by 2 into 3 by 2 the whole square 3 square is a 9 so it's going to be 9 pi divided by 2 into 2 square which is equal to 8 so got the area of all three components this is for semicircle e circle d and semicircle a quickly get these three values in a printed form in the next slide area of the semicircle is 81 pi by 8 because its radius is equal to 9 by 2 area of circle whose radius is 9 by 4 is equal to 81 pi by 16 area of semicircle a whose radius is 3 by 2 is equal to 9 pi by 8 area of the shaded region let's call this as 1 this to be equal to 2 and this to be equal to 3 area of the shaded region is 1 minus 2 minus 3 so that translates to 81 pi by 8 minus 81 pi by 16 minus 9 pi by 8 16 is a common denominator so take 16 as a common denominator this will make this number to be equal to 162 pi minus 81 pi minus 2 times 9 which is equal to 18 pi 
162 minus 81 is an 81. So this is 81 pi minus 18 pi, which is equal to 63 pi divided by 16. This is the area of the shared region. Quickly see it in a printed form. So required area is area of semicircle E minus that of circle A minus that of semicircle A. 16 is the common denominator that gives us an answer, which is 63 pi by 16. Take pi to be equal to 22 by 7. If I do that, 63 by 16 into 22 by 7 will give us the answer. 7 and 63 will cancel out as a 9. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 11 is equal to 22. 99, sorry, this is 8, not 2. 99 by 8 is the required area, which is nothing but 12.375 square centimeters.